What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a quick video about my educational background, okay? A lot of people have been asking me uh, what, you know, what I used to do before I became a dating coach, etc. I've mentioned in videos how I used to DJ on the side and people are like, oh, so you just be, went from DJ to dating coach. I actually have an extensive uh, educational background and I, I will go through that and, and the different things that contributed to mastering the dating and pickup game. Okay, but before we continue, please subscribe if you have not already for new videos every single day, usually around 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, once I get the queue going, it will be, you know, very consistent at 2 p.m. Eastern, but for now, it's the times may be a little staggered. So I started off as a computer science major. Okay, I, I always thought very analytically. In high school, I was taking seven advanced placement classes, seven college level classes in my last year of high school. I was competing in math competitions at a very high level and chess tournaments. I was playing underground poker circuits and day trading stocks. And that's how I paid for a lot of my uh, college. Okay, but I was always very, I had a very good knack for, like I would sit in these advanced placement classes and play chess against other smart friends of mine. I would sit with two guys at lunch. Uh, one ended up doing a PhD in quantum physics, specializing in string theory, and now lives on a boat. And he's actually, ironically, the guy that recommended that I read the book, The Game. Okay, And I refused for two years. So it sounded like very scammy. I was very skeptical that there could be a whole method to the madness, etc. with women. I was dumbfounded at that point um, and a virgin at that point. I didn't even kiss a girl until college and, and lost my virginity at the end of the first year of college. So um, I very quickly... Uh, you know, acclimated towards the, the computer programming because it's very systematic, algorithmic, that my brain works in a series of algorithms and flowcharts, basically. And then I, I struck an interest in my first year of college in philosophy. I liked being able to make deductive, rational arguments, and I just had a field day with that. I started taking uh, graduate-level proofwriting classes, okay, focused on, uh, like, Bertrand Russell and Noam Chomsky uh, proof basically deductive proofs and just started going crazy with that stuff. As a freshman in college, in my first year of undergraduate, I was taking graduate um, proof writing classes. Then I really decided I wanted to major in philosophy as well against, you know, all the uh, support of family and friends. My mom even went so far as to say that philosophy is just for deadbeats that couldn't make it another career path, which is absolutely not true. It's some of the most brightest and, and you know, accomplished people, not maybe accomplished in terms of capitalism and, and amassing funds and wealth, but enriching their overall life, okay? Because philosophy teaches you how to think critically, how to examine both sides of issues, deconstruct things, etc., into their constituent parts. Um, so that was an invaluable skill set to learn. But, but long story short, I ended up doing a double major in computer science and philosophy. And in my third year of undergraduate, I got very into cognitive science, Okay, it was the study of brain science. I, I blasted through like 30 books on cognitive science and neuroscience. Okay, and that demolished the idea of, the, of a soul. It demolished the idea of God for me personally. It, it demolished the idea of, of free will, etc. I'm not going to make this into a philosophy video. But what was interesting with the cognitive science is it provided empirical justification and empirical support for my rational philosophical positions. So now I had, now I was coming at both angles to solve problems. Okay, I could have all the top down, deductive, rational arguments, and then I had the bottom up, empirical, you know, very scientific arguments. Okay, and you put those two together and you can make very strong arguments. And what's an interesting um, mindset that I developed in studying philosophy is that an argument is only as good as the evidence behind it. Okay, and that's a very important concept. So that means that your beliefs should always be subject to change if you're being you know, intellectually honest based on which are the best arguments that can be provided to you. Okay, meaning you don't cling stubbornly to a position if someone can show you that there's a better position. And I took that mindset into developing my dating system Okay, because what I did, I've, I formed the basis of my dating system in 2012, Okay, jumping ahead a, a bit. I graduated undergraduate in 2005. I formed the basis of my dating system in 2012. I was in a forum called Top Beasts. It was supposed to be the 30 best pickup artists in the world at that time. Okay, and they put us in this group based on things like our field reports, okay, which is just a summary of our nights out, um, recommendations and, and vouching for other you know, people that were already well-known in the community that had spent time with us 
and a whole number of other factors because it's really kind of nerdy analysis. They put the 30 of us together. I befriended all those guys, you know, basically figured out exactly what they were doing and then found the common overlap in the key areas. Okay. And that formed the basis of my system originally in 2012. And that was around the time that I had 103 girls in June, 2012. And from there, um, I basically just always, and I still do search for people that are better than me at any area of game. Okay. And I don't find that, that anymore, but you know, not to sound arrogant, but over the, over the years, I was always trying to find anyone better than me at day game and night game at texting at keeping girls around, okay, at, at keeping the rotation strong at running their dates at doing the online game. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I would learn from them and befriend them. Okay. And, and in, in the modern day, you see all these little punks in the, in the pickup forums and stuff, just trash talking the great accomplished guys. Okay. Guys, 99 times out of a hundred would rather trash talk me in the forum than, you know, respect me and, and take advice since I've seen and done everything in the game. Okay. Yes. These statements sound arrogant, but they're true. Okay. Who has 13,000 phone numbers and 1,300 girls okay, that they closed? No one. Okay. Not no one in the pickup community. So, um, that being said, as, as time went on, I kept finding people better than me in these different areas. And I also kept scanning the entire system for weak spots and looking for ways to innovate and optimize further. And this whole process of evolution and optimization is what drove my system to the, the strength of what it is now. Okay. That's why I always show the exponential growth of the lay count and guys are like, Oh, you're just bragging. You're just focusing on lays. No, those are the results that came in as a result of the skill. But I wanted to tie this into the educational background because I evolved the system. And anytime anyone could show me a better way to do something, I was grateful and thankful. I want people to poke holes in my system so that I can make it better. And I, and I, you know, versus like Mystery, for example, I respect him the most out of anyone in the game. I'm not trash talking him. But he built a system and then he kind of froze it in time and he failed to adapt and failed to evolve. And I, we used to, him and I used to talk regularly a couple of years ago. He told me he was in the low 300 lay count. Okay, so I've got, and he's close to 50 years old. I just turned 37 and I have over a thousand more girls than him. Okay, and that's a direct result of the fact that I evolved an optimized system. My best year from mid 2017 to mid 2018 was 246 new closes. Okay, that's almost his entire lifetime count. And it's because he failed to adapt and evolve. He stubbornly holds on to principles that are inaccurate, that are suboptimal, etc. Uh, his system, I think, is still light years ahead of most of the other stuff out there, but I took his best parts and took them way beyond, okay? And the point is, you want people to find better ways to do something. That's how you advance, okay? I, I still, like, stay hungry, so to speak. I'm always looking for new angles and new holes, and even in the past few months, I developed some new optimizations that even increase the output of the system. And what I used to do in, in college, you know, tying this back to the education stuff, is I used to, um, when I'd find out about like an interesting philosophical topic or scientific topic, I would do a whole bunch of research on it. I'd read a bunch of books on it, talk to different experts about it, talk, sit and meet with different professors in their office hours and, and talk with them about it. Then I would write up a whole paper after I had kind of formed all my position and I would make as strong rational arguments and empirical arguments as I could, but then I would circulate it to all my smartest professors and smartest friends with the direct intention of them finding problems with it, okay? Rather than people like building a system and being like, don't don't attack it and this is the best system and I'm not willing to look at other alternatives, I have always looked at it the opposite way. I want people to find holes. I want people to find suboptimal pieces or weaknesses because that gives me opportunity to make it stronger, okay? So, and I'm gonna make a separate video. Someone asked some important questions in the comments the other day. They said, how can you take a virgin that, that tried all these other companies and systems and didn't even get one girl, how can you turn him into advanced in two months? And the reason is I'm plugging him into a very optimized machine that allows him to very easily assimilate. Okay, when, once I optimize a guy's online pictures, okay, and then he plugs into my online messaging scripts, which are all just copy paste, that's gonna deliver him a whole bunch of phone numbers. Okay, the, the profile gives him the matches. He takes a match, plugs into my scripts, so it gives him phone numbers. He plugs into the text, that gives him dates. Then I teach him how to run his dates. It's all a funnel, okay? I teach him how to master the different pieces, and then it just outputs results because there's no bottlenecks. It's, it's not as complicated <clears throat> as 99% of the people in the industry have made it out to be, okay? That's not saying it's a, it's a walk in the park, but I have fully optimized 
all the major moves. Okay, and I and I plug in plug people into that, and then I, you know, calibrate them as as quickly as possible. So I just cut their learning curve down very, 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 very dramatically. Okay, so that's how I'm able to do that. Or his other question was, how do you how are you able to get someone in a wheelchair laid? Okay, we have that on video first of all, and the chicks were surprised. I I went into that situation where I was teaching a, a wheelchair virgin on a live program in London, I went into that, you know, with not the best expectations, because I'd never taught someone in a wheelchair before, but the girls were surprisingly receptive, mostly because they thought he needed help, because it's a handicapped guy rolling up and tapping them, and he was actually a funny guy and cool guy, he just had no strategy, just like everyone else, okay, so it's, it's not that he actually had some major disadvantage of being in the wheelchair, the chicks didn't really give a shit about that, okay, and, you know, so on and so forth, um, and I'll respond to that comment, I'll make whole videos about it, but I want people to challenge me and say, well, how is this possible? Okay, because I'm never going to make a lie claim about results for myself or students. So if people have, you know, any kind of question about that, I'll gladly explain. But um, moving forward from there, my graduate studies, I ended up doing a master's in human computer interaction, which for all intensive purposes is like user interface design and evaluation. Okay, that was supposed to take two years. I did it in one. Then I did a uh, second master's in England in philosophy of cognitive science. So we were studying the, the, the notion of concepts and like, you know, these different things in cognitive science, but it was too top down for me. I was, my original plan was to go on for a PhD in philosophy of mind and really dive deep into the, the, the nature of consciousness. Okay, I'm, for, as a side note, <clears throat> my biggest side interests besides pick up in the game are nanotechnology, molecular biology, robotics, the technological singularity, which is strong artificial intelligence overtaking normal human intelligence. Um, let's see, transhumanism, okay, basically merging with machines and, and becoming cyborgs, radical life extension, okay, defeating aging, minimizing uh, disease processes, minimizing aging processes. I just treat those as just another optimization problem, okay? That's why I gravitated towards math, towards poker, okay? I used to play pro poker as well and towards chess tournaments, okay, towards the game. These are all optimization problems that are very fun for me. My first job out of college was working for Lockheed Martin. I had a security clearance. Lockheed Martin, if you don't know, is one of the world's biggest defense contractors. It was in the branch of the Navy, and I was working on ballistic missile defense systems, okay? So if there was an attack, uh, most notably, you know, they were, they're prepared for attacks from like North Korea or Iran, okay, for instance. If they were to attack... United States or our allies with a nuclear, biological, or chemical-tipped warhead, my job was to help optimize the speed of response time and the accuracy of response, okay, in, in those mission-critical situations. I did that for about four and a half years. Then I worked, I took a job with IBM for about a year and a half, which was work from home. That's when I started getting really heavy into the game stuff, and I was doing those things concurrently. It was easier to do the game stuff since IBM was work from home. And then I had a couple of briefs since with Sony, and with Hewlett Packard, only about two months each, and both of them I was fired for basically letting game interfere with those jobs. And then I never worked a corporate job again, okay? And that was <clears throat> like eight years ago. Um, but I almost went to law school as well uh, after I finished that second master's. But basically by age 23, I had two master's degrees and, and two bachelor's degrees and also the, the minor. But <clears throat> the reason for, for covering all that <clears throat> Is because I deep down I'm like a huge closet nerd. I never imagined to be in this in this position. I was like the shyest guy out of 700 people in my high school, and girls that I meet like in the modern day, they're always like, "No way, you were shy. No way, you were like really nerdy." Because like now I I'm very extroverted. And now you know I'm like the life of the party usually, especially when I was like drinking a lot. You know that would exacerbate the personality, etc. <clears throat> but it's important to note those things because my you know, it's just a, a freak genetic intelligence. My, my brother's the same way. We're just very easily able to optimize skill games. He became like top five in the world at FIFA. He, he devoted a lot of his intellectual powers towards video games. I used to be a top ranked StarCraft player, <clears throat> which is like the <clears throat> highest level real-time strategy game. I used to compete against the, the Koreans who were the top in that game. But the point of mentioning all this is I rose to the top in, in poker and chess, you know, with this nuclear missile defense stuff. I won awards doing that stuff. And now the dating game is just another skill game to optimize. It's, it's like it's like three, you know, 3D chess where the reward is, you know, pussy instead of, you know, winning against a, a nerdy friend. So that's 
what I bring to the table that guys are like, what makes your system different? How do you know, how can we trust you versus everyone else? I just was given this freak, uh, massive, you know, it sounds arrogant, but, it, but it's true. Just hyper analytical abilities. Okay. And high IQ that allow me to maximally optimize skill games and systems. Okay. I, I was implementing like the entire mystery method out on night one, doing all his advanced techniques on night one. And I, and I have a field report about that. Um, from 2009 and same with poker i read like seven poker tournament strategy books my first giant tournament with lots of people i got down to the top three i was the chip leader but i didn't adjust for all the bluffing that happens when you're down to a small amount of players and so they ended up running over me and bluffing me out and i took third place <clears throat> but then i adapted and learned so what what you guys are having access to when, when you take a training with me is just literally like I've devoted my entire adult life to relentlessly optimizing the system. I spent most of my free time in my adult life either doing cold approach, texting, being on dates, or being with rotation girls. Okay, those were like my primary activities for better or worse for most of my life. So there's tons of data and there's tons of optimization that went into this and tons of innovation that was driven in and tons of adaptation and evolution. So the system is extremely, extremely, extremely rock solid. And that's why I say it's the best in the world, not just because of all those things that went into building it, but because it delivers the best results in the whole community by far, okay? So I'm off to the beach with my lady. I just wanted to make this really quickly. I hope that sheds some light on uh, the background. And I think, you know, I think if I would have, like, sunk all my time into poker, I could have risen to the top of that or sunk all my time into, you know, something else with an intellectual pursuit. I could have mastered that. I chose to master this game, and this is why I'm your best option in this game for training, okay? And if you have interest... Click the link in the description for a free 30-minute call with me, and I'll show you how I can make you very advanced in two months or less, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe below if you have not already for new videos, typically at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Lots more good stuff to come. I'm setting up a studio in one of the other rooms in the new house, and so you will have a nice, fancy backdrop and all this stuff uh, to watch me in the future, okay? Daily videos every day for 2021, okay? Get ready. It's going to be a, a wild ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that was helpful, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.